not really much is being shut down other than us, and we're such a small percentage of the spreads. A dance studio says the government is out of step with its health orders. Some feel they're being scapegoated by the province's latest restrictions, which includes a two-week stop to fitness classes, and that includes dance. In between every class at Free Spirit Dance, owner Teresa Tucci uses this $1,000 electrostatic machine to disinfect surfaces. With that investment yeah. and strict class protocols, the studio is wondering why the province isn't cracking down on private parties instead. I'm not sure if that this is going to do any good. My biggest fear is that because we're not doing more of a shutdown for everybody, that in two weeks more restrictions will come in place. So not only have I been shut down for two weeks, there's a potential of more. Premier Jason Kenney announced the restrictions on indoor fitness classes and sports for the worst hit communities after weeks of warnings about 40% of cases spreading within homes and at private gatherings. This business is looking for an exemption from Alberta Health Services and says sometimes it's unfairly lumped together with more intensive fitness classes like spin or hit. In some spaces there might be 20 people doing something high impact with heavy breathing, heart rate at maximum, emitting those droplets that they talk about versus a place like us where there's eight people in a studio and it's low impact, you're not increasing your heart rate nearly to the same degree. Legree YYC is watching for federal aid programs. My husband and I own this small business. We've put our blood, sweat and tears into it and this is what feeds our family. Alberta's premier and top doctor both trying to relieve the desperate situation in hospitals strained by the growing number of cases. <laughs> Tucci, who has a family member working in hospital, says this isn't the full shutdown healthcare workers asked for. You know, we do need a reset, like that's clear, but I feel like we're a drop in the bucket. In Calgary, Crystal Adaris, City News.